what's going on you guys so welcome back to my channel and it's the next day I just got off work uh, took a shower uh, my friends outside waiting on me so we can go unload the car and put it in the little garage shop whatever you want to call it but yeah let's get to it You guys, so either they bought a cheap intercooler and just outlined the letters, Hold as you on. can see. Do you have any more lights? Well, either they bought a cheap one and it, or it's actually a name brand, but anyway, it's kind of messed up in the back, so we'll probably get a Mishimoto one. But we got the car off the trailer, which took us about an hour minimum. But basically, we're not going to be able to put it in the shop right now because we don't have anything to pull it. So we're just going to be check the wiring and check what's good, what's bad, what's salvageable, and go from there. Drink, we're drinking completely? Water. So, let's check the wiring. We've been digging more into it and so far so good we haven't found any ripped wires except just one we've been taking some of the things off as you can see the intercooler the radiator the air filter the fenders now we just got to finish uh, we got to find a um, maybe like a crescent wrench to take that sensor O2 sensor off after some more digging around with the car we came to the conclusion that we're just going to go ahead and just tear down the engine, take it out, see if any pistons are bad. Um, heads. Heads, sorry. To check if any uh, heads are bad, um, just, just check the inside of it, you know, make sure everything's good. That way we can go ahead and uh, paint the block a uh, different color because mm, silver is too dirty and they got to go. Now we can paint the block and paint the engine bay and all that, but that's going to be different videos for you guys. And yeah, y'all should stay tuned because I'm pretty sure we're going to make this little car look real good. Alright, so we're going to stop for today because it's getting a little bit dark and we got other things to do. But this is as far as we got. We got almost everything to just, you know, take off the heads and stuff. And probably even take out the motor. We just gotta uh, unbolt the transmission and stuff. But first, before we do all that, we gotta put it, push it in the little shop so we can work more comfortable and actually be able to use the what's it called, cherry picker? Yeah. So we can be able to use the cherry picker and the um, engine stand. We also decided that we're gonna get a new wiring harness. So I'm gonna be looking into that tonight. Sorry, excuse my hair, but uh, we're gonna order it. Um, this is a lot of work and I hope this turns out into a beast. Maybe we can find a GSX and just take the four wheel drive off and all that mess. But first we're gonna focus on taking out the engine, uh, making sure everything inside is good. If everything inside is good, we're gonna paint the block, make it pretty, everything, make everything pretty. Um, take all these wires and engine lines and brake lines and all that off the car um, prepping the engine bay painting it and then after all that's ready move to the inside and check if that wiring harness is good 
and if it ain't put a new one in and then hopefully start it up and we're also going to relocate the battery because i don't like it in the engine bay <laughs> so that's wrap for this video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe <laughs>